back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Oh, this is the time of the year that I love, springtime. Springtime is where flowers are blooming, birds are chirping, and guess what else? The wind is blowing, and it is time to get out a kite or make a kite and have fun. Kites were invented 3,000 years ago in China, and every year, Kites are celebrated at large festivals, like the Bloom Festival in Washington, D.C. People gather around from everywhere, showing off their kites. Those kites range from this size to large kites that average 100 feet wide. How do they get these kites off the ground and up into the air? Well, that's what we're going to learn today how to make a kite, and how to fly a kite. If you're interested in this, and you just want to learn a little bit more about kites, then stay tuned. The materials you will need, paper, 8.5 by 11, glue, Scissors, pencil, tape, string, straws, ruler, something to make a tail with. It could be tissue paper, ribbon, crepe paper, as long as it's lighter than the original paper. Now, we're going to get started by taking our sheet of paper and placing it in front of us horizontally. We're going to take the horizontal paper and fold it in half and crease it. Now notice horizontal is this way and if I turn it the long way it's vertical. So we want it uh, horizontally. Now we're going to take our ruler and pencil. We're going to put a dot three inches from the center line at the bottom. So line your ruler with the crease, find your three inch mark and put a dot. Okay. Then take your ruler and do the other side. Three inches from the crease. At the top, we want to put our ruler at the crease, but this time we want to measure one inch and put a dot on each side. One inch from the crease. Put a dot. All right. Now we have our dots in place. We're going to take our ruler and we're going to line it up with the dots. So carefully line it up and you're going to connect the dots and draw a straight line. Then do the other side. Okay. All right. Pause the video if you need to. Now, we're going to take our pencil at the top corner. On each side, we're going to put an X. Now, where we put the crease of the lines, we're going to fold back exactly on the line and make a crease. So take your time. Okay. 
this side and do the same on the other side. So you have two flaps. Now take, so you have two flaps and you put these two together. Okay, these should line up the two creases. Well, it may be off just a tad bit. But you want it to look like this. Okay. And then this is the other side, the way you want it to look. Now we're going to take our tape and tape along the opening here to close it. Okay, so you should have that. Starting to look like a kite. Now we're going to put our straw. The straw is going to go between the two X's and you're going to tape the straw on the X's at the top. So you just need a small piece of tape for that part. Okay. So pick it back up. Now, if you, because it's just paper, and if yours is off-center, you can start over. Don't panic. You can start over. All right? So you want that straw across the top bar. Now, you need something to punch a hole with. I'm going to use a hole puncher. And you want from the top, three inches from the top, so measure using your ruler and at three inches you're going to put a hole in the top. Okay, so something like that. Alright. You are doing fantastic. Now let's take our string. Or fishing line or dental floss if you have that. You want to put a knot in it. And now we've made a prototype, meaning it's, we can improve on it, but this is our prototype kite. And so what I want you to do is just play around with your kite and see if you can get it up in the air, uh, you know, the wind blowing, um, in your house or in your classroom and play with it for just a minute and then return back. Now that you've played around with it, we're going to add a tail to it so you can decide if having a tail is necessary on a kite or not. So I just cut out two streamers from tissue paper and I'm going to glue mine here at the bottom on each side. So here are my streamers, and here is my kite. I bet yours look better than mine, but that's, that's great if it does. And if you want to on this type of kite, you want to add designs, add stickers, draw pictures, whatever you want to do with yours. If you want to make it larger, then you would double the uh, measurements to make it larger instead of three inches from each side to six inches from each side or and two inches from each side at the top. Now that we have our kite made, now it's time to learn how to fly a kite. 
Well, the first thing you need to do is to launch your kite. You need to launch your kite by creating a lift. Lift is going to be the wind that crosses over the kite. And if you can get a uh, lift by either running to get the wind moving over your kite or you can be in a gust of wind and it can catch it. Now remember gravity is that force that pulls things back down to the center of the earth. Lift is an upward force and the winds have to be strong stronger than the pull of gravity in order for it to stay in the air. If the kite comes back down, that tells you that the wind was not strong enough. The next thing you need to do is to make sure that your kite is not too heavy because if the kite is heavier than the lift, it will not stay up in the air either. Now you need a balance. You need the balance of gravity, you need the balance with lift, but you also need the tail. The tail helps give the balance also. When all three are working together in harmony, your kite is ready to fly. Now, now that you have it up in the air, it's time to take a cruise. You take a cruise by holding on to your line. You are the kite flyer and you are in control. So hold your line and begin to loosen the line and let your kite begin to lift higher in the air. If you want your kite to go faster, then you're going to tug on the line quickly. A quick tug, not just yank, 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 but give it one quick tug and let it begin to move faster. If you want it to go even higher, and you want to give it a quick tug. Not a bunch of yanking. One quick tug is all you need. And you will begin to have fun with your kite. And as you begin to loosen your line, give it little tugs, your kite is going to soar in the air and you can have fun. Now, if you forget these steps, just come back and look again. But the best way to learn how to fly a kite is what? Get out there and play with it. It does take time and you do need the wind on your side for flying a kite. Now that you've made a kite, you know how to fly a kite, now it's time for you to go outside and have some fun. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.